Chapter 19 Separating the Wheat from the Tares One Yenyekovu woke up everyone at five in the morning as they performed jun. They sang, meditated, and prayed together as they taught obeyed the definitions and katas. They effectually separated and went about their way to jun. Fasting for a week, from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., they came together at 3 p.m. to read the Torah before ending their fast. On the last day, Obey was enlightened as they all gathered together. Obey sat there smiling, as he spoke an unknown language. Everyone looked at Obey, and started praising Sabbath and Obey sat there looking at them. What, what is this? Letsy appeared before them. Obey, all is well, for you all have found favor in Sabbath's eyes, a mighty warrior of Sabbath. But you all must leave here right away and travel to Red Rock Canyon north of Eagle Point, for it is the last place you will find water suitable to drink before you reach your destination. It is only half a day's journey, so you must leave at first light. Letsy disappeared as Jonathan looked at Obey. Yo, dude do your ass know how to smile motherfucker. How about a smirk? Ever since we met you, you have this hard-looking look that scares a motherfucker. Damn. You also look like a statue, even when you're happy? Obey tried to smile. How about this? Jonathan shook his head. Now you really look like a cold-blooded killer. We'll work on that. Obey tried to smile again, saddened. Thanks. I never had a reason to smile, until lately. Packing up early the following day, they slowly moved across rough terrain, heading toward Red Rock Canyon. One Yenyekavu and Daniel riding on horseback leads the group out of the tree line into the desert. Followed by Jonathan and Joy on horseback together with Alicia and Elijah. Behind them were Grace, Mercy, and Joam side by side with Obey in the rear, forming a diamond shape as they slowly traveled along the path that Jonathan and Alicia had mapped out for them. A little past noon, they were just a few miles away. One in Yekava asked, Grace, travel ahead of us and check the lake's perimeter. She returned moments later and reported. There are about thirty to forty men around the lake as if guarding it. It did not surprise one in Yekavu since this was the last water source for miles that someone would protect it. We shall go ahead but be careful and be on the lookout. Grace, you and Mercy scout the side of the mountain for snipers. One in Yekavu then pointed to Jonathan. Jonathan, once we get close enough... I need you to stay invisible until the coast is clear. Mercy transformed into an eagle and flew off and circled the site while Joy zoomed past the area, looking for any signs of danger. They returned, Mercy reported. There are four more men on each corner of the lake. Taking out her tablet, she pointed to their locations. Here, 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 and here. Then Joy reported. There are also slaves in these caves and ten more men along this ridge. Elijah, listening carefully, said to Wanyanyekavu, They have communicators as well and have just heard them say they have spotted nine people heading their way, so they see us now. Hold on, said Elijah. They just reported that Abani B6 is headed to this location as well. Obe looked at Wanyanyekavu. Whatever it is, it's pretty damn important. The Abani has ranks like anything else. They are sectioned off from A through F, A and B, cover the northern section of the planet, which is nothing more than ice, no humans. C and D cover the central section, where we live, and E and F cover the southernmost part of the planet again, nothing but ice, no humans, just Abenians. The lower the number, the higher the power, this is the central section of the planet. C and D, Charlie and Delta Abenian sections since Wanyan Yekavu had a confused look on his face, but Obey broke it down for him. Put it like this, Abenian B, or Bravo 6, first of all, doesn't govern this section of the planet, but the northern section, like Iceland or Alaska. And on top of that, the lower the number, the higher the rank or authority. Abenian that are labeled from 1 through 20 are hardly ever seen. Then there are alphabets. A, or Alpha 1 is this Mr. Lavas guy. Wanyan Yekavu heard Obey, but his mind was on the camp. I'm sorry, Obey, you can explain later, but I'm trying to figure out why no one is coming towards us, when they know we are here. Obey said, What I was trying to tell you is a polar bear is not supposed to be in this area. 
If Ebony B6 is here, he's up to no good. His arrival is more important than ours. Waninyekova stopped, raising his eyebrows. Oh. Okay. Sorry, about that. I was looking for instant fight. Elijah shouted. We have about five minutes until he gets here. Waninyekova paused for a minute. We will wait. 